Hello folks, in this video I am going to show you how to recover data from damaged or corrupted RAID drives using the best RAID data recovery software available. When a sector in one of your drives inevitably goes bad or data gets corrupted, you need the best tools available to ensure you can quickly and accurately recover your files. RAID recovery software makes repair and recovery of data from RAID 0, RAID 5 and RAID 6 drives a snap. And I'm going to show you how to do that right now. First, we are going to click the link in the description box below to visit the website recovering-deleted-files.net forward slash raid-recovery. And then scroll down to click download. The file will begin to download automatically. Follow the installation instructions to begin. And here's the software. Before you can begin to recover your data files, you will have to first build your RAID. From the Data Recovery tab at the top, click on the RAID Recovery button here at the bottom of the window. Here in the RAID Reconstruction window, you will select the drives in the left window that make up your RAID, and click the right arrow button to add them to the right RAID order window. Be sure your drives are in the correct disk order by clicking on the up or down arrow button to move them into the correct order. Now click on the RAID start sector boxes to enter the starting sector of the RAID drives. If you don't know the starting sector of the RAID drives, click the don't know start sector of the drives checkbox and select one or more probable start sectors from the drop down box. After putting the drives into the correct order and selecting the start sector, you will then need to select the stripe block size, parity order rotation, and the parity repetition delay. Then click on the big build RAID button. If the parameters you entered were correct, a single RAID is shown. Select it and then click on the show volume list button. The found volume and the RAID are now shown under the RAID Recovery button on the main screen. After you have built your RAID, you have to scan a RAID volume to recover data in that volume. Select the volume to be recovered. A flying pane will slide out to the right showing you several recovery options. Selecting Quick Recovery will be the fastest recovery option. But if you are unable to recover certain files, the Deleted Recovery, Advanced Recovery and Raw Recovery options may reveal the files needed for recovery. After you select a recovery option, here we will select the Quick Recovery option, the software will scan your RAID drives and will display a preview of the files available for recovery. You can now select individual files for recovery in the File List view or Recover Entire Folders, Directories and or Drive in the file tree view here to the left. Clicking on the file type list tab will display the files available for recovery by file type. Or you can search for a specific file or files here in the filtered tree tab. Once you have selected the files for recovery, click the red recovery disk icon in the lower right corner of the window. You will have to register the software in order to recover your data from your RAID, but once you do that, your deleted files will be recovered and the whole process only takes a couple of minutes. You will need to select a destination drive separate from the drive you are recovering from in order to save the recovered files to. Then click the OK button to begin the recovery process. A warning window will pop up to confirm the recovery process. Click Yes to proceed. And that's all there is to it. If you need to recover your data from damaged or corrupted RAID drives, I can think of no better way than using the best RAID data recovery software available. And by clicking the link in the description box below to visit recovering-deleted-files.net forward slash RAID-recovery, you can get started recovering your data today. Good luck.